say a quick thank you for tuning in. It means a lot to us that we have incredible people such as yourself to share this content with. So we hope it inspires you to continue to get out there and make the most of your journey doing whatever it is you're doing, wherever it is you're at. If this video brings you value or you enjoy the content we share, please take a moment and hit the like or the subscribe button. The highest compliment you can give our channel is to share it with others. Thank you very much and enjoy this week's episode. Okay, so uh, we are in Monument Valley. We woke up this morning and our campsite was in the middle of this sandstone canyon. It was beautiful. Awesome. We were told to go to Golding's campground. Uh, if you've any of you ever heard of this place, it is truly epic. Maybe this is like the normal standard for campgrounds, uh, but we're just new to this. And so it's all pretty fantastic to us. But the plan today is to go to uh, Golding's Museum. Where else were we heading to? I forgot. Monument Valley, Mexican Hat. That's it. And then we're going to go off to Zion National Park in the southwest corner of Utah. But before we do, this puppy needs a bath. It's in terrible shape. Bug guts galore. We have committed genocide against some unknown species of flying animals. So that's what we're going to do right now. Monument Valley when they visited in the 1920s, but it was an Indian reservation. Well, the Indian reservation ended up moving spots in the late 1920s, and the Goldings jumped on the opportunity to buy this land. And so they set up a place people could come and stay and vacation and a trading post. Um, but during the Great Depression in the 1930s, um, the Navajo people were hurting and they were hurting. So they took their last $60 that they had went all the way to California and heard that directors were looking for um, a Western spots for Westerns to film. So they took their last $60 and just hoped that they could find someone who would want to shoot a movie here at their Monument Valley. And they did. They found John Ford and they filmed, he gave them the money up front and they came back and filmed the movie Stagecoach. And then after that, Monument Valley took off and there's been many, many films filmed here since then. It's been kind of iconic for Hollywood.
So we've driven halfway across the United States and we found the one thing that Daniel's more excited about than anything else. And uh, we just wanted to share that with you real quick so you can see it. He hasn't quite understood what politically incorrect is yet. So we are driving through the desert on our way to Zion National Park, Southwest Utah. We're just leaving Monument Valley and we wanted to give you our tips for whenever you plan your next visit to this incredible destination. Highlight number one, you have to go to Golding's campsite. Some of the things, some of my favorite things was wherever we went in last night, there was stars that were super duper bright. Um, and you can see them really well because there's because there's no city near us, and you can you can see that you're surrounded by all these canyons, and there's this awesome hike that you, and it was so pretty. And there's this awesome hike that you can go on. Arches. Um, it's right at the campsite. You do not you do not have to pay because right there it's open to everybody, and there's multiple um, ways to start it. But we went the long way, and there is really beautiful. You can see all the mountains, and you can see like rocks everywhere. And it looks like the rock is so smooth, but it's actually really hard and crumbly. Our third highlight is Forest Gum. You have to go and stop um, where the famous shot, the famous photo place where you can go and see your Forest Gum ran and said the famous line. And you know when your parents always tell you, get out of the road, get out of the road. Yeah, well this is one of those times where parents say, go oh, get in the road, get in the road. Okay, so number four is Mexican Ham. It's about 20 minutes outside of Mile Marker 13, where you that famous iconic photo spot the girls are talking about. And by the way, we're telling them to run in the road so that they wouldn't get hit by oncoming traffic that was self-coming. You have to get in the road, take a picture, and then get out of there pretty quick. The Mexican Hats, this cool little desert town, it really reminds me of that scene from where Lightning, Lightning McQueen and Cars, you know, uh, finds himself stuck in that desert little town. That's exactly what it is. Uh, there's a cool little restaurant that we didn't get a chance to check out that we heard it was really good called the Swinging Steak. We're going to try to hit that on the way back. Uh, the San Juan River runs through it, so it's really, really pretty. This has a really cool vibe to it, so make sure you check that out when you're going through Monument Valley. And tip number five, this comes from Daniel Jr. He's playing a video game right now, and we don't want to interrupt him because if we do, it'll be, we'll pay a high price. But he says, bring good snacks. And uh, he really liked riding the horse at the uh, Bashar grocery store and what was the name of that town? Pinta. Hey, if you're ever going through there and you have kids that are four years old, they have a really cool motorized horse. Tell them what we're doing, Hallie. We're gonna go on a hike just to stretch our legs out. Okay, so we are about, I believe, 100 miles away from Zion National Park, somewhere on the border of Arizona, Utah. We've had no AC for the past two days. Now, like I said, it's September, and we are in the middle of the desert, so it's 100 degrees. It's hard to get this thing cooled down. Uh, this is one of the situations where we're actually renting an RV from someone, just trying to get, you know, find out what the experience is, and we're just talking. Our experience would be a heck of a lot different if we were just comfortable. Uh, but we just, we're literally at that point where we just can't go any further in this heat. We're, we're sweating, our clothes are sticking to us. So we, we're at a trailhead, we don't even know where we are. Uh, we're about probably 30 minutes west of Page. Um, we're, we're coming up on Grand Staircase Escalante to our north. There was a trailhead uh, path We said, hey, let's just get out, let's take a 20 minute walk, come back up, we'll cool down. Do the rest of the trip, get to Zion, and get comfortable. So that's what we're doing.
buddy. Stay to the right. inside the RV and it's making a little everybody a little cranky you start swelling up a little yeah. swollen and the worst thing is that when you're driving the water in the RV does not work so <laughs> it is hot and we're feeling it we want to jump in a big body of water which sadly we saw and we didn't get to go in it <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman almost what? fell down right there. <laughs> Too busy watching what's what in front of him or behind him, so what's in front of him. Yeah, and the cranky one, that's me. Papa Smurf has not been too happy when it's 90 degrees. And we paid some nice cheddar for the RV. But, tell me girls, was the trail, was it worth it? Yes, we needed to get out. Stretch, exercise. It's cool to climb things. There's, there's like this smooth trail, and you're and in the shade the whole time. Too. Yeah, it's like medium, and then there's rough trails on the side of you where you can climb and hike. And Howie and me really wanted to do that, but we have to go on. Well, we got a lot more trails ahead of us, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And we got a little one over there who <laughs> loves. He's just loving this. He says, "I'll lead the way." It's really easy to get in the mindset. You just gotta get the destination A, B, C, or D. And you just gun it and get to where you're going. And you miss all the stuff that's going on around you. Guys, there's a big beautiful world out there and you're probably living right in the middle of it. You just don't know it. Slow down, take the off-beaten trail. Get out and walk that little spot that you've been wondering what's uh, around the bend on your way to work every day. Or uh, just get out there. It's too pretty not to. water and we have working air conditioner it's finally cooling off in here and it feels like a home with cleaned up and ready to stay in Zion National Park for two days but someone is stinking up the place uh, yeah. and his name is Daniel come Daniel here you needs a shower. come here we have running water now, and you need a shower. Come here, bud. Hey, do you need a shower? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Daniel, are you stinky? No. <laughs> you're, you're, you don't stink? No, come here. Let me see your face. Come here. G give us give us a smile. Come here. Let's see those really cheeks. Close. All right, stay right there. Give us a smile. Let's see your hands. Are your hands clean? Hands aren't that bad. Let's look at, look at your face. Turn this way. Oh yeah, you got some dirt on that face, buddy. <laughs> see that? Do you see those the flies? flies are on There's it. flies oh, no. swarming around Get the you. Flies off of it. Do you know why the flies are on you? Why? Because you stink. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> because you're a stinky. Look at his feet. Show him your feet. The bottom. Show him the bottom. Hey, what was that stretch I showed you to do today? Stretch. Yeah, show me the stretch. Oh. Feet together. Eyes up. Hands up. Yep. And then. Good. Good. Wow. This is leg strike. His legs are almost straight, guys. That's pretty impressive. And what do we do then? Do slowly, it. slowly. Go up. Yep. Yeah. And bend back as far as you can. Okay, I smell you even worse now. Let's go. Right.